Hi, it's Renee and I have spent this afternoon trying to organise my master's thesis. So I've begun trying to get all the things out of my head onto a screen. I've been making notes in books for a while now, but I have played around with Prezi this afternoon for a few hours. I've used Prezi before, or Prezi some people call it, and I really like how you can... Um, display things and connect them all up. So I went through the themes, I found one to play around with and this is what I've come up with. So I've read through the thesis manual and the way that I've structured this uh, document or presentation is based on the um, thesis manual that we've been given and I'm planning for the next couple of months first, November to January. So this is the first section. Number one is the subject and formulating the research question, then the research proposal, and then the implementation of the research. So I have to remember to try and incorporate all elements of the MICM. So that's a master's in international communication uh, management. So I'd like to try and bring those three elements in. All the modules that I've studied so far started with internal communications, then external, crisis, brand management, social media, intercultural communication, and now I'm doing media relations. And in each of those, there's a stack of different um, topics. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So um, different subjects and topics that have been covered. So I still need to go through and uh, come up with the different uh, topics within each of those modules and make a list to try and remember all of the different areas that um, I'd like to review. Then I'd like to link it to all of my personal interests, experience and skills. So the tagline I've been using for a while now on my social media profiles is love to connect, share, create, learn and teach. And this is a list of some of the main um, interests I have so far. Uh, I have a Bachelor of Business in Marketing and Tourism Management and the concept that I am starting with as a um, beginning point is that I'm really interested in capturing and communicating knowledge within a community and sharing that with the right people at the right time. There are so many different um, paths I could follow so I am starting big and just listing everything and then I'll start focusing in which is what I'm doing on the right hand side here but what I have to do then is research all the existing research areas what's already been done do a literature review look through all the different journals and then connect that with what I've been covering in MICM and my personal interest and bring it all together in a thesis I will be spending a lot of time at the library online and probably in the physical library as well. I've started looking at just browsing by discipline. There's so many different disciplines. Some I can um, completely cross off, others I wanna focus on. So I'm trying to align the things that I know and that I'm interested in with the way that things are categorized. So another thing that I looked at that I haven't covered on this um, slideshow is I was looking at the Dewey uh, decimal system as well, like how library books are cataloged, which is what that is on the right there. But um, anyway, I can come back to that later. Um, now I've messed up my slideshow. So for the research methods, uh, this is the book that I'm going to become very familiar with. We use this where I work, but uh, this will be the first time I'm writing a thesis. So I will be reading this from cover to cover. And we've already started taking notes uh, in the media relations module I'm doing at the moment. These are some notes that um, our lecturer, Bruce, took us through the other day. Um, he has a PhD and is one of the uh, coaches for the thesis. So, um, yeah, I will be still having a lot more training and I'm trying to bring all that together. We also have to find a client organization and I had a lot of different ideas which are on the right hand side there but have decided to focus on the Hague University. I work there, I study there, I know a lot of people there and I can see that there's a lot of um, uh, communication issues that I could uh, potentially help with. So. 
I um, would still like to try and tie it to some other organizations because in really good theses that I have seen, uh, they will focus on one client organization, but still keep a big picture in mind and how it might apply to others. So there's a few there that I've got in mind that I want to research. Uh, I'm starting with a list of different people I want to interview. I've got my own network um, internally, externally to where I work and in the Netherlands and Australia is the strongest links that I've got. But I am planning on focusing the core of my thesis on the Hague University of Applied Sciences. I've just listed off some problems and ideas that I have had from um, working there for two years, firstly as a freelancer and now as a staff member. But the idea is not for me to come up with the problem, but to interview um, people within the organisation. So these are just a few initial exploratory um, concepts, and then I'll see if that matches up with what the people I interview have to say. The ultimate goal and scope is to find a problem um, and define it and essentially come up with a solution. So to do that, I need to do research, methodology, uh, gather experience, all those kind of things, and bring in something new, new knowledge and new innovation. The brackets that I've put there is I would really like my thesis to be something that's implemented and not just um, for my graduation. So I'd like to see it implemented within the department I work, which is IBMS. And whatever I study, I'd like to keep in mind that it should be applicable to the wider organisation. I think I'll need to focus, oh, it's just going to get too big probably on the staff, but again, I'd like whatever I study to also be potentially um, applicable to the students. It will be because we're all, <laughs> all um, working together there, but I'm just trying to define some scope or oh, it's just going to get too huge. I'd like to just uh, link to other organisations within education and other industries and further research, but that will be beyond the scope of this thesis. Um, I have to come up with an action plan. This is just a, a beginning. I've got a lot to do <laughs> over the coming months, but this spending a few hours getting this big picture and then I'm going to have to zoom in and make a serious action plan. I need to write a research proposal, so I'll be writing that uh, next month. Um, we're kind of getting into late November now, so December I'll be writing a literature review for an assignment for media relations, and the hope is that I can tie it together with the actual thesis. Um, I also need to write a research proposal, which I'll be doing in January. Uh, I've already started the literature review in the media relations course. So Bruce gave us some excellent tips and an outline last week in class. So I'll be continuing with that. Uh, oh, that's what I tried to come to before. And finally, in January, late January, probably the actual implementation of the research. So the literature review I have to do as an assignment that's due on the 24th of December. Uh, hopefully that will be the one I use for my thesis. If not, I'll have to refine it or I'll see how, how that goes. And then throughout January, I'll need to actually collect, process and analyse data. I am planning on starting with interviews. I've got a few ideas in my head of how to begin with a digital interview. So uh, some kind of Google Forms where I email it out to um, people that I've got in mind and then do um, direct either email or face-to-face -face interviews and then continue from there. So that's the first block. And then after that, in February to July is when I really get stuck into it. So then I need to look at all the research, do a critical reflective analysis and presentation of the research data. I'll be doing that in February. Then the actual writing of the thesis so that's March, April, May. I need a couple of months because I'm doing this part-time alongside working and also being a mum and doing a few other things uh, so I need to allow plenty of time. These are the uh, this is the structure that I need to follow. Over on the right here actually I've allowed myself a month for edits and revision. It's due on the 10th of July the oral defences will be the 19th to the 21st and then hopefully I won't need it but there's a reset. 
the actual assessment will be done by first and second assessor and then the oral defence. And all of this is leading to the graduation on the 18th of August 2017, which is just before my 42nd birthday. So I will be celebrating like this, like last year's class. Uh, they were full-time students for one year. I'm a part-time student for two years. So that is my very first initial planning document for my master's thesis. And I wanted to record a screencast just to speak through it. I've been writing and thinking and I like to incorporate all different media but also if anyone's interested I have a lot of friends and family that I'm not spending much time with lately because I've been so busy so if you're interested in what I'm up to this is it. So any feedback is most welcome and I'll do another update at some stage.